It's common knowledge that Elon Musk is the world's wealthiest man and Aliko Dangote Africa's richest, but after that, no one really pays much attention to who is wealthy in their very own countries. In our opinion, no one can be blamed since we all are trying to get through life and live a comfortable life as much as we can, and so we pay little attention to the less obvious things. Well, it won't hurt to find out, and it will be fun knowing those who disproportionately influence our economy, politics, and philanthropy. In today's discussion, we will talk about the top 10 wealthiest men in Kenya, according to the most recent ranking in 2022, including their current net worth, sources of income, brief biography, and more. As we all know, wealth is measured in net worth, which is defined as the total value of all financial and non-profit assets, minus the total value of all liabilities owned by an individual. With Kenya being the country with the highest GDP in East Africa, it has become necessary to share with you the list of the top 10 richest men in Kenya. Many businesses were forced to close as a result of the COVID-19 lockdown, resulting in a global impact and a significant reduction in most businessmen's net worth, particularly those whose revenue sources were directly touched by the coronavirus epidemic. As they say, tough situations, on the other hand, do not last, but tough people do. Those who managed to survive the COVID-19 effects are included in our exclusive list of Kenya's top 10 richest men. Kind reminder, you might want to grab a cup of coffee as we explore the list of Kenya's top 10 richest men. Ten, Atul Shah, $290 million. Kenya is home to Atul Shah, a successful businessman and entrepreneur. Nakumat Holdings Limited is the parent company of Nakumat Supermarkets, the largest privately owned supermarket chain in the African Great Lakes region, with branches in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and Rwanda. He serves as the managing director and chief executive officer of Nakumat Holdings Limited. Nakumat Supermarkets is the largest privately owned supermarket chain in the African Great Lakes area. As of September 2014, the retail business operated 50 outlets across four countries, had annual sales of more than $650 million, and employed over 7,000 people. Adil Shah, the managing director and CEO of Nakumet Holdings Limited, is the first name on this list. Adil Shah is one of Kenya's top 10 richest persons, with an estimated net worth of $290 million. Nine, S.K. Macharia, $365 million. Samuel Kama Macharia, who was born in 1942 and is also known as S.K. Macharia, is the founder of Royal Media Services in Kenya and serves as its chair. Royal Media Services is the largest privately owned radio and television network in Eastern Africa. He has used his fortune to gain control of the media in Kenya, and since he has purchased so many frequencies, everyone who wants to start a radio station is required to consult with him first. Citizen TV and Radio Citizen are the companies that best represent Royal Media Services as a whole. In 2012, Forbes magazine published a list of the top 10 African millionaires to watch, and Macharia was included on that list. Macharia was included on the list of the 50 most influential Africans in the 2013 Africa Report. The 2015 Eastern Africa Ernst and Young Entrepreneur Lifetime Achievement Award was bestowed upon him in recognition of his accomplishments. His net wealth is reported to be at $365 million, and he owns multiple television and vernacular radio stations. Macaria is also interested in other industries such as agriculture, real estate, and finance. He is well known in Kenya and Eastern Africa as one of the millionaires. 8. Chris Karubi and his family – $400 million Christopher John Karubi was a Kenyan businessman, entrepreneur, and industrialist. He was born in the county of Maranga on the 20th of August 1941 and passed away on the 14th of June 2021. The Centum Investment Company was a business conglomerate and he was the company's most significant individual shareholder. He served as a director at the company. 
He was an astute businessman, entrepreneur, and industrialist who tries to build money through commercial ventures. He worked with Centum Investment as a director. He presided over Kenya DHL Express Limited, Kenya Hako Industries Limited, International House Limited Karuna International Limited, Nairobi Butler's Lut, Sandvik East Africa Limited, Capital FM 98.4. He is ranked 8th among Kenya's top 10 richest men. He had a net worth of around $400 million USD. Unfortunately, he died in the middle of 2021 at the age of 80. 7. Uhuru Kenyatta, $500 million Uhuru Kenyatta, whose full name is Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta, is a Kenyan businessman and politician who was elected president of Kenya in 2013. He was born on October 26, 1961, in Nairobi, Kenya, and holds a number of government posts prior to his election in 2013. In 2017, he won another term in office. Uhuru Kenyatta, who comes from an affluent family, has always lived luxuriously. He managed his father's billion-dollar fortune, which he seemed to have inherited. He is the current president of Kenya and has an estimated net worth of $500 million. He has been president since 2013, and his companies span industries such as insurance, hotels and tourism, banking, education, farming, and so on. 6. Nashad Murali, $600 million Nashad N. Murali, CBS, was the founder of the Kenyan mobile service provider Kensel, along with French media giant Vivendi. Murali became famous in an almost folk tale for a corporate boardroom maneuver that earned him a $20 million profit in one hour thanks to preemptive rights of his stake in private telecom company Kensel Kenya in 2004. He attended Highway Secondary School in the suburbs of Nairobi, Kenya. As one of Kenya's leading industrialists, Morali brought commercial development in Kenya for more than 30 years and was constantly expanding his businesses throughout East Africa. Nashan Morali is Kenya's sixth richest individual, with an estimated net worth of $600 million. He is a businessman and the founder of Kensel, a mobile service provider in Kenya. He also serves as the chairman of the Samir Group, a Kenyan conglomerate involved in construction, agribusiness, finance, and information technology. Nashad was a key shareholder and board member of Airtel Telecoms until selling his interests and stepping down from the board. He is still one of Kenya's wealthiest individuals and is well known throughout Africa. 5. Bimji Depar Shah $700 million Pimji Depar Shah is a Kenyan businessman with a net worth of over $700 million. He is the head of the Bitco Group of Enterprises, a family-owned manufacturing conglomerate centered in Kenya with operations in 13 African nations. Bitco Africa is the leading maker of fast-moving consumer goods in East Africa, FMCG. Bitco manufactures soap and has expanded its company to include edible oil refining. This company now has branches across 17 African countries and is the largest producer and marketer of consumer goods in East Africa. This massive growth of the company has greatly contributed to the net worth of Benji Depar Shah, who has an incredible net worth of $700 million, which comfortably makes him one of the richest men in Kenya. The BIDTO Africa Group developed and opened a $200 million industrial park in 2019. His son Vimal Shah, who is currently the chairman of this company and CEO of Bidco Oil Refineries, also ranks high as one of the richest men in Kenya. Mama Njina Kenyatta is the fourth richest person in Kenya, with a net worth of $1 billion. She is the richest lady in East Africa, with a sizable investment in real estate. 3. The Biwat's $1.1 billion. The Biwat comes in third position on this list of Kenya's wealthiest persons. Late Nicholas Biwat, often known as Total Man, was one of Kenya's wealthiest persons before his death in 2017. Though he passed away, his family remained on the list. 
At one time, Blaiwat was a very powerful cabinet minister during the presidency of Daniel Arap Moa. He passed away at the age of 77 in a hospital in Nairobi after a long battle with an illness that he had been battling for quite some time. It was widely believed that Baiwat controlled one of the largest fortunes in Kenya. He was widely regarded as having been one of the most successful businessmen in Kenya. He has in the past suggested that Forbes do an assessment of his wealth, but after initially expressing interest in doing so, he quickly changed his mind and cited personal considerations as the basis for his decision. Baiwat was the owner of the prominent Yaya Center in Nairobi, which is now known as a landmark shopping center at the time of his passing. In addition to his involvement in other businesses, he owned Air Kenya. The Baiwat family has a net worth significantly less than Ernesto Terracon, one of Ghana's top 10 richest men, with an aggregate net worth of roughly $1.1 billion. Bitwat was a politician, philanthropist, and businessman who owned premier group of companies, Barism Investment, and Yaya Center, all of which were valued at millions of dollars. Baiwat's family has continued to manage his investment and remains one of Kenya's wealthiest families. 2. Manu Chandaria has a net worth of $1.7 billion. Manu Chandaria is a renowned Kenyan businessman, industrialist, and entrepreneur. He has an Indian descent, though fully a Kenyan born in Nairobi. Manu Chandaria has his popularity lie on the billion-dollar enterprise, where he is the senior member known as Comcraft Group of Companies, which has had its presence in more than 40 countries globally. He has received several awards following the success he has had in the business field. His company is mainly known to operate fully in Eastern Africa, involving operations as Mabadi Rolling Mills, MRM, Koloko Works Limited, and InSteel Limited in Kenya. Uganda Body Limited, together with Shumuk Aluminium, is situated in Uganda, while the Metal Products Limited and Aluminium Africa Limited are located in Tanzania. Manu Chandaria has an estimated net worth of $1.7 billion. This comes from his successful career in the family enterprise operating as the Comcraft Group of Companies. The multi-billion company operates in more than 40 countries, having huge success. He owns his house in Muthega, Kiambu County, neighboring Nairobi, Kenya. In addition to this, he drives one of the most expensive cars and lavish life, being one of the richest Kenyans. Manu Chandaria is a well-known businessman, industrialist, and entrepreneur in the East African nation of Kenya. Although he was born in Nairobi, Kenya, he holds full Kenyan citizenship, despite having Indian ancestry. The fame that Manu Chandaria has stems from the fact that he is the senior member of the billion-dollar organization known as Comcraft Group of Companies, which has established a presence in more than 40 countries around the world. As a result of the achievements he has accomplished in the world of business, he has been honored with multiple accolades. His business is primarily recognized for its full-scale operations in Eastern Africa, which include Mabadi Rolling Mills, MRM, Koloku Works Limited, and InSteel Limited in Kenya. His company is also known as InSteel Limited. Uganda Body Limited and Shumuk Aluminium both have their headquarters in Uganda, whereas Tanzania is home to the Metal Products Limited and Aluminium Africa Limited. According to estimates, Manu Chandaria's network. 1. Moy Family, $3 billion. The Moy Family is the wealthiest family in Kenya. With a stake in over eight different industries, including agriculture, insurance, banking, manufacturing, and so on, the Moa family is believed to be the richest in Kenya, with a net worth of more than $3 billion. Much of this money was amassed during the late Daniel Arap Moy's 24-year presidency of Kenya. The retired Daniel Moa served as the Republic of Kenya's second president under the name Republic of Kenya. During the 27 years that Moy was in charge of the government of the country, his family amassed a great fortune. The family business has holdings in a variety of industries, including agricultural, construction, media, banking, and manufacturing. We are through with the list, and I hope all enjoyed finding out who are Kenya's richest. 
Many of us can argue that knowing this information doesn't help us in any way, and you are not wrong, but knowing this gives us an opportunity to dream and more drive to pursue our dreams. If our fellow brothers and sisters have done it, why can't we? Thank you for watching. If you loved this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If this video made you believe you too can be wealthy and can pursue your let us know in the comment section. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more amazing content. Help our channel grow.